Hi there! Today's story is Visiting Day by Jacqueline Woodson and James E. Ransom. On visiting day, there is chicken frying in the kitchen at 6 a.m. and grandma humming soft and low, smiling her secret just for daddy and me smile. And me lying in bed, smiling my just for grandma and daddy smile. And maybe daddy's already up, brushing his teeth, combing his hair back, saying, yeah, that pretty little girl of mine is coming today, with all the men around him looking on jealous-like, because they wish they had a little girl of their own coming. Only on visiting day does Mrs. Tate come over when the sky is still pink, heavy with presents for her son Thomas, saying, please can you take these with you? And grandma taking the presents from Mrs. Tate's arms. And shooting me a look that says, you better not make a sound about Mrs. Tate not having money to take the bus up there to see her only son. And I sit quiet, respectful. Only on visiting day do I stand patiently at the bus stop, holding tight to grandma's hand until everybody's inside. And we're all passing around fried chicken, cornbread, and thick slices of sweet potato pie until maybe we think we're going to pop. But instead, I go to sleep and don't wake up again until the bus pulls up in front of the big old building where, as grandma puts it, daddy is doing a little time. And only on visiting day do I get to tell daddy everything that has happened over the month while I sit in his lap and he pulls on my braids, smiling his big, me and grandma have been gone forever smile, laughing his big laugh, showing me and grandma off to his friends, pressing peppermints into my hand and kisses against grandma's cheek. Grandma says it's not forever going to be like this. She says one day we'll be able to wake up and have daddy right there in our house again. And we won't have to take long bus rides once a month and walk home from the bus stop hand in hand, feeling a little sad, already starting to miss daddy. Grandma says all it takes is time, a little time. And while we're holding out waiting for daddy to come home, we can count our blessings and love each other up and make biscuits and cakes and pretty pictures to send daddy. And in the early evening, if it's a little chilly outside, we can sit out back bundled up in blankets and make each other laugh as we make big plans for when daddy comes home again. That's the end.